Melina, tell us a little about the story, uh, the song without a name. It's a beautiful title. And what is the story about? Um, the story is about Georgina Condori and her desperate search for her uh, baby. Um, she gives birth in a fake clinic and the baby disappears. So Georgina is a very young indigenous woman from the Andes of Peru who has just arrived to, to the city and um, she doesn't have access to any kind of uh, health support. So when she hears in the radio that there is this foundation giving, giving help um, to pregnant women, she, she goes and, and uh, gives birth there and um, the baby disappears. So the film is about that and about her search, her life, her struggle to, to find the baby and um, the relationship she, she starts to lose with her husband and also the relationship she starts building with a journalist who happens to have his own um, story and we're gonna see about him too. Um, so it's, it's about them, it's about Peru in the 80s and it's about uh, violence and love. Do you think uh, through movies we can bring uh, different cultures together? I think so. I think so. I think we can bring uh, people together. I think we we start know it's the best way to know people to to see them on the screen, to see their lives on the screen. Uh, that's when you start caring, you know. Like you you start uh, you become curious about the other and. Uh, you start loving them. Uh, people sometimes <laughs> get annoyed when, uh, for example, something happens in the United States and everyone cares uh, about it. And I say, don't be mad because people is, is, is cares about the, the U.S. We have to care about everybody. But this happens in many ways because of movies, because we watch American movies. So we have to watch our own movies too, so that we care about us, uh, about ourselves, and about Latin America, and about the world. So the more movies, the more um, that diverse uh, storytelling is, uh, the better. It's true. We, in some cases, we know more about the U.S. There are, than our own countries, and that's because we're invited with films from, uh, they're always happening in New York, Los Angeles, or anywhere, and there are stories that become part of our lives. So I agree that we need to see more films from all over the world. Yes. Yeah. And uh, tell us a little about the Oscar. Your film is representing Peru for the Oscars. Can you tell us about that? How important is it for you? Sure, it's a um, wonderful opportunity for um, the film, for the and for everybody involved in the film, and uh, it's also a great opportunity to speak about uh, all these issues, uh, to speak about uh, the trafficking of people, the trafficking of children, the violence against women, the violence against the indigenous people, the violence against the LGBTQ plus community. Uh, the film talks about all of that. It follows a story, the story of Georgina, her struggle, but it also shows you how we live, uh, coexist with these uh, ways of violence. So, it's a chance to speak, to open a dialogue, to, to get to know Peru better, to get to know the world, the human condition. So um, it's, it's wonderful for one's uh, professional career, you know, as a filmmaker, but we shouldn't forget the, the things we're talking about. 